President Yoon suk yeol returned from his three-nation tour of Central Asia over the weekend. As he set out his K-Silk Road initiative, Korea's first strategy to increase cooperation with the region. We have our correspondent Oh Seung who traveled with the president. Welcome back, Seung. Great to be here, Tommy. So, three nations, three summits, and dozens of deals for South Korea. First, give us a recap of the major outcomes. Sure, Tami. So, as he said, President Yoon clinched major deals with uh, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan during his state visits last week. First, Korea landed significant deals on transport, energy and infrastructure in all three countries. Now, that includes working on Turkmenistan's gas processing facility, smart city infrastructure in Kazakhstan and high-speed rail systems in Uzbekistan. And that would be the first time South Korea has exported its high-speed rail technology to another country. Another major achievement was establishing critical mineral partnerships with Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. That is crucial for South Korea's foremost high-tech industries, such as semiconductors and batteries, which of course rely on stable supplies of minerals like nickel, lithium and tungsten. Korea also secured stable supplies of crude oil and uranium for nuclear energy in Kazakhstan. Now, stretching beyond economic security, President Yoon's office says uh, Korea's basic resource cooperation has evolved into a mid to long term sustainable strategic partnership with the region. It was clear that Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan were eager for our country's cooperation for construction and modernization in various industrial fields. For Central Asian countries, they are trying to promote economic development by taking advantage of the trade and capital flows that began to increase rapidly to the Central Asian region due to the war in Ukraine. This is an opportunity to find a solution that aligns the interest level of both parties and mutually beneficial. In this regard, key deals were signed on fostering green technology as a response to climate change, concessional loans and development assistance, agricultural technology for food security, research and technology in cutting edge fields, along with education and vocational training, as well as support for young innovators. There was also solidarity on regional and global challenges. All three countries joined South Korea in calling for the complete denuclearization of North Korea. The support of these former Soviet republics is particularly significant ahead of Russian President uh, of Vladimir Putin's expected visit to Pyongyang, which could enhance their weapons cooperation. So this all ties into the so-called K-Silk Road initiative uh, launched earlier this month. Now we heard why it's, uh, what it's about, but why are partners with a Central Asian country so critical? Well, I would say that the biggest reason is really the long list of global complexities and uncertainties that we face in trade and geopolitics. As power rivalry, uh, economic nationalism and the race for technological supremacy continues to intensify, especially with the war in Ukraine and now the israeli Hamas conflict in the Middle East. Central Asia's strategic importance has grown as a geographical bridge between Asia and Europe, with major powers vying for access to key resources and the so-called middle corridor trade route. However, Seoul's approach goes beyond the interests of in economic security. Its new k Silk Road initiative aims to build not only resources cooperation with uh, five Central Asian countries, but also partner with them on their developmental challenges and increase cultural cooperation and interpersonal exchanges, really tapping into their young and dynamic demographics. South Korea may actually have an advantage here due to its pragmatic diplomacy and soft power. Our country refrains from unilateral cultural diplomacy and pursues two-way cultural exchange. Cultural performance of our artists, K-food, K-beauty, is very, much, uh, very popular in Central Asia, as already known. But at the same time, we could note that uh, Central Asian countries have recently visited Korea at the invitation of our local government and are introducing various cultural uh, performance in Seoul. The fact that there are so many volunteers participating in the activities of Korean Cultural Center in Astana and uh, Educational Center in uh, Tashkent and overflowing numbers of applicants for the topic, the Korean language test, can be said to be the fruit of two-way cultural uh, diplomacy. 
So three nations, seven days. I have to ask you, was the trip successful? Well, you saw the scores and scores of uh, MOUs, memorandums of understanding, the deal signed uh, between Korea and these three Central Asian countries. But I would say what was quite striking was the uh, trust and personal friendship between Yun and the leaders of each country. That was very conspicuous. In Turkmenistan, for instance, the ever-powerful uh, former President Gurban Guli uh, Berdimut Hamadov got in the same car as President Yoon to actually give him a personal send-off at the airport and he even waved as the plane took off. He also uh, presented President Yoon and First Lady Kim Goni with uh, Turkmen dogs, two Central Asian shepherd puppies who are actually going to join the dog-loving first couple in Yongsan this very week, on Tuesday I believe. And in Kazakhstan, President Kasim Jomart Tokayev, he invited President Yoon to watch a cultural performance with him of uh, Korean and Kazakh artists and also introduced him to to his dog. While in Uzbekistan, President Shavkat Mirziyoyev personally guided President Yoon in Samarkand and he introduced him to the World Heritage City and he also accompanied him to the airport along with his wife and his daughter. So this kind of affinity, I think, was uh, very uh, palpable and it wasn't only felt at the top level but all across society, particularly with the uh, nearly 300,000 ethnic Koreans residing in Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Local press built up anticipation for President Yoon's arrival and summits with their leaders and a lot of people I talked to on the personal level as well even I would say um, two young uh, school children is, and in Uzbekistan actually came up to me and they gave me a hug and said that said they love Korea so I think it's quite clear you know Korea's soft power is really at its prime and it could be further utilized to boost its diplomatic network particularly as Korea aims to become a global pivotal state in a world of complex crises. We have to flexibly adapt to rapidly changing relationships between countries. The implementation of Case Road strategy following the Indo-Pacific strategy and cooperation initiative with the ASEAN countries is evaluated as a rapid and flexible strategy. In addition, we hope to play a leading role in the areas facing humanity for example, climate change, frequent confrontations and wars, refugees, human rights, and poverty reduction. At the, as the status of the country of uh, South Korea rises, there are many tasks that require burden and respons responsibility, and we should make every effort not to respond the uh, expectations of the of other countries and other people. That was indeed a full week of uh, Silk Road diplomacy for you. And thanks for coming in today, Suyang. Always great to be here, Tommy. Thanks for having me.